Hi everybody. Back for another update for Tasha. Um, first she wants me to remind everybody um, all the winners for her prep for it food challenge. Um, she wanted me to let everybody know not to worry. Um, when she gets home and she's she's um, back to uh, feeling good and everything she will be sending out the prizes so she doesn't want anybody to be worrying about that um so um she she let me know that today quite a lot of change today for miss tasha but uh before i get into tasha she also wanted me to add in um her local fire department is in need of prayers including her husband Joe he is on the fire department there and um, they've been fighting uh, a lot of fires today in their area and um, they've got 50 mile an hour winds um, they did lose one home uh, the family safe but the, they lost the home but they were able to save a lot of other homes so she's asking for prayers for all the firemen that are out there tonight trying to uh, keep this under control um, she also asked that um, I uh, ask everybody to pray for a local in her area that passed away yesterday um, to uh, this virus. His name is Jason Parkhurst, and uh, he's a dad and grandpa, so she's asking for prayers for his family and uh, his friends. Um, she doesn't have any details as to, you know, what all happened if you know this that and the other but those are things that she requested first and foremost so now on to the good news at 10 45 this morning she let us know that uh or no last night 10 45 p.m last night this after i had already done the update for the day yesterday she hit 100 percent on her oxygen several times it didn't stay there but she was hitting, she was hitting 100% last night. Um, this morning, she let us know that, you know, she had a bit of a restless night last night. Uh, she said the steroids are affecting her ability to sleep. Um, they're looking at putting a pick line in um, here re real soon. Her, they're having a real difficult time getting an IV in. Her, her veins are... Uh, Pretty worn out from all the poking and prodding they've been doing on her so they did uh, put a um, IV in her right shoulder and that's where it's at right now so she's not sure when it might be Monday before they can do that but they're they're gonna be hooking her up with a pick line soon um, her thrush is healing up real quick and they got her some medicine for that last night so um, they started lowering the pressure on her oxygen today as well um, this morning, um, let's see, it was 9.43 this morning, they lowered it, one is still at 40 at 9.43 this morning, it was at 40, it needs to be on at 2, and the one that was at 100, they lowered to 90, and it needs to be at 25 before they can call her good and, and, and get her moving on her way um, at 1045 she let me know this morning that they had lowered it down to 80 so they're moving on they're moving on so um, <coughs> at 330 this afternoon they turned the uh, other one down to 35 so um, they're they're weaning her pretty quick. She's still it's still high flow oxygen, but they're they're you know she's maintaining nineties the whole time. She hasn't uh, gone below ninety. So um, at five twenty four this evening, she reported to me that uh, they have lowered the one down to thirty, and the other one is now down to fifty. So and um, she was uh, staying in the nineties still. When she showed me the picture, it was at 96. She was at 96%. So she's doing really, really good. Um, tomorrow morning, they're moving her out of ICU. She will be going to, she'll still be in a COVID unit, but she'll be going into a different room and she'll still be on her high flow oxygen. 
but um, she she's progressing amazingly today. So um, let's let's keep up those prayers and um, positive thoughts and and love. You know, it's it's really made a world of difference in her healing. Um, also, she wanted me to update you all. She now needs 500 watch hours. We're this close, guys. This close to getting her monetized. So. Keep up the hard work. She knows you guys um, are watching her videos. She she um, was hoping there'd be a, an update today, but there isn't. So she don't know when they'll update that again. She's hoping soon. But 500 hours. So almost there. So you guys have been amazing. Um, she appreciates all the text messages and the Facebook messages and the emails that she's been receiving. Um, she's... Uh, said she's feeling very blessed by the amount of people that she has in her life that, that love her and care for her and are praying for her. So um, you guys are just an amazing group of people. And it's it's um, it's awesome to witness the power of love and prayer, what it can do to somebody. So the major improvements it has on somebody's life. So I just uh, want to say thank you all and uh, God bless you and we love you.